you guys it's anna here what is up welcome back to my channel i finally had some time and to go visit uh, my parents for this week and especially i wanted to go visit my mom for some early mother's day and also paint with her i thought it'd be really fun and this video is in collaboration with anna luisa which is one of my favorite sustainable brands they are based in New York City and I just love their minimal style so they actually gifted me as well as my mom some jewelry pieces and I'm just showing you how they look on and they are currently doing a Mother's Day sale right now for 15% off it's a good time to get something for your mom smile <laughs> <laughs> So my mom and I, we were just really inspired uh, by this picture that her friend actually took back in Korea and it's like this beautiful cherry blossom trees hanging over since she does a lot of nature kind of landscape art i thought it'd be fun uh to do a piece around that i also thought it'd be like really fun to collaborate on an artwork piece i kind of started off like doing the base doing the background and just blending everything together and it was just like a fun process i do feel like it can be tricky sometimes because when you're painting with two people it's like you both have different ideas but it was pleasant doing painting this whole thing with my mom because um she just kind of let me do my thing and then she did her thing and we kind of like took turns but currently she was just uh, teaching me also how she paints acrylic using knife i find this technique really fun and fascinating because you know at the end of it everything looks more texture and it just kind of looks almost like 3d it was just a fun way to sort of learn but also have fun and create some more uh, pieces with my mom and honestly I, I really like this experience and i think i want to do some more in the future um, we were talking about doing some oil painting as well i'm just you know doing the background doing the different colors of the sky we wanted to use the picture as just a reference and kind of use our own color also our, our own imagination and just add more things to it And throughout the process she was also giving me a few pointers and I tried to do a little bit of the knife painting which I feel like it was a little tricky for me but I, I kind of got the hand towards the end um, but yeah it was really nice because it's been such a long time since I painted I believe it's been like a month because you know with the move and everything if you guys caught up with my previous videos I did move to Toronto and that has been taking up of course a chunk of my time so it was really nice to just to come back and visit my mom and just to do a piece with her it was very calming as well And I feel like at this point, it kind of looks like the ocean. Also, the painting starts to almost look like the starry night <laughs> picture. So I realized that and then I started to add in some trees. And um, you'll see later on how my mom kind of ties everything together. And it's really fun just to like see her whole process of it as well. Thank you. 
So this is where my mom comes in and takes over and helps me out. So I guess with her process, especially with the branches, she wanted to make it as very seamless and organic as possible. And usually when you take a look at branches, they just kind of go in their own direction, their own way. So what she did with the knife is just to go on like a tilted slanted sl side and just proceeded to use the knife to draw these branches. The most important thing about this part is to make it look less perfect. You kind of just want it to be just very organic and very natural because obviously with branches they don't look you know super perfect and they don't go in a very straight you know direction they're all kind of rigged and doing its own thing Even though we collaborated onto this piece, I also wanted to learn and just to see how she kind of does her knife technique so that I could learn to do it myself. So it was also uh, a fun process to create but also a very informative one because I was learning as well. It was just really nice to see the whole painting come alive. I really like this piece because it's like a piece of my mom as well as me in this picture. This will be very interesting, so bear with me. I feel like when you have a lot of time in between of not creating, I you always feel a bit rusty and, and weird and not so confident. Um, so let's hope for the best and let the games begin. <laughs> This is the next day. I wanted to just keep practicing a little bit more, so I did this one solo by myself. It has been quite some time since I last painted. I really just wanted to get some of the basics down packed again, and so I found this picture on Pinterest. I have a thing for ponds and koi fishes and lily pads, and so uh, when I saw this picture, I wanted to use it for reference, and so for me, I just wanted to start off and paint the background. You want to keep it as simple as possible. You don't want to overwhelm yourself, so I typically would look at the background colors, the values, what sorts of different colors that I see, also the different tones. Is it light, dark, you know, just kind of adding that and setting that as the background. So that's what I did there. And then once I was satisfied, I went to go ahead and painted in the kelp. As I was painting this, I wasn't feeling quite satisfied with like the shape and how short it was. And again, as you keep painting and the more you just keep going, the more you will pick up certain methods and ways that you like. At this point, I figured out the brush stroke that uh, worked for me and that I was really satisfied with so I proceeded to keep painting on the kelp The more you look at a painting, you can kind of tell if things are more just effortless and organic. And I always love that kind of look. Um, not to say the other way is bad, but it all depends on your own preference as an artist. So yeah, anyways, I'm just going over the koi fishes. At this point, I, I wasn't satisfied with the color of the fish, so I ended up changing it and making it like the other two fishes.
And then at this point, I just started to add in some more colors just to see, uh, just to kind of balance out the picture itself. Um, I wanted to add in some more pink. Don't be afraid to experiment, you know? If there's something you don't like, you can take it out. I did change it up a little bit at the end. I took out one of the, one of the lily pads and I was happy with it. And this is how the final piece turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed it, uh, especially with this process with my mom. I definitely want to do more painting videos with her and shout out to my mom for being such a boss lady there is still some time if you guys would like to get something for your mom i will leave the links to everything from anna louisa i hope you guys have an awesome rest of your week and i'll see you in my next video bye